takeout often gets an encore performance, but restoring leftovers to their former glory can sometimes be a struggle. There are all these questions in food where science can help you answer them. Pia Sorensen is a faculty member at Harvard University's Paulson School of Engineering and Applied Sciences, where she teaches a class called Science and Cooking. If you've ever heated up meat that you've kept in the fridge for a while, and you feel like the flavor just isn't quite right, it kind of has that off flavor, that is the warmed over flavor. This happens more with foods that have higher unsaturated fat content like chicken and fish. But there are ways to help avoid it ruining your meal. Make sure to wrap up the meat pretty soon after you eat it in something that is not permeable to air so the oxygen doesn't get to it. After that, you shouldn't leave it in the fridge for too long because the flavors will continue to change over time. After you've heated it, you can add something fresh like lime or spring onions or cilantro. Sometimes it may even be better to just eat the meat cold. Like a cold roast chicken is sometimes more delicious than like a heated up roast chicken. You've heard the saying, revenge is a dish best served cold. The same is not true for all takeout. The reason microwaves are so good at heating is because they use electromagnetic radiation. But the thing with that radiation is that it only goes about an inch into the food. So this is one reason why you would often kind of spread out your food. You can also try adding a little water and covering it. There are basically two aspects to food. There is flavor and texture. If the flavor and texture are right on, then we think of the food as being really good. And if it's not, that's kind of what makes food bad. If you're looking for one more way to better your leftovers, have a drink delivered. Drizzly started from a simple text from our founders. They both were at Boston College at the time and just about to graduate, and the text said, I just got pizza delivered, why can't I get beer delivered? After a few months of research, they figured out how and launched their own online liquor store called Drizzly. Kathy Lewenberg is the chief operating officer. The customer will go to drizzly.com or the Drizzly app and put in their delivery address and that will pull in all the stores that are available. In addition to convenience, customers also have access to a much wider selection of inventory. The selection ends up being unparalleled when you're pulling in multiple stores to shop from. Gordon's was the first of the now 4,000 U.S. stores Drizzly works with, most of which are independently owned. About 70% of the legal drinking age population is covered by Drizzly. Right now, it's available in 1,400 cities in 34 states, which all saw an 800% increase in gifting this year. While the occasions have shifted in a big way, we're excited that we're able to support people in those important moments and helping them connect. In 2020, Drizzly says wine was the top category for sales in Boston, followed by liquor, then beer. And back to the science of leftovers, we have an extended version of that interview on Chronicle, the podcast, available on all apps no, podcast apps, that is. That is Chronicle for tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Shana Seymour. We'll see you back here tomorrow night. Good night.